Before this video starts, if this guide helps you out in any way, shape, or form, like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you have any questions. Let's begin. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how you could go ahead and create UGC items inside a Chromebook. Let's begin. You guys first want to go over to Blender and you want to download Blender right here. And guys, once you go ahead and get Blender, you could go ahead and make UGCs inside your Chromebook. Now, to go ahead and download Blender, by the way, you could also get the uh, app called Sculpt, which is essentially like Blender. If you can't, obviously, go ahead and get Blender in terms of getting it on inside of a uh, Chromebook because you guys don't have Linux on your Chromebook. If you don't have Linux on your Chromebook, then you just want to go ahead and type up Sculpt on the Play Store. And you want to download Sculpt. And now let me show you guys how Sculpt works right now. So let's wait for Sculpt to install. Sculpt Plus. And you guys should be grateful because Sculpt is actually is actually for money inside the App Store. So iPad users and Mac users, they actually have to pay for what you're getting for free. So you guys should definitely, you know, be grateful for Google for that. Because at least you guys get to use Sculpt for free. Sculpt Plus for free. So wait for it to download. Open. And it has over a million people that downloaded it, which is quite crazy. So let's click allow. And now wait for this to launch. Okay. Wait for it to launch. It's going to launch in a second. So now that it's launched, you could begin building with this and you could do a whole bunch of things. So let's say we want to push this like this and we mold it like this. We want to mold it like this. I don't know what I'm molding here. <laughs> well, you know, you just got to kind of be patient, take your time with what you're sculpting and you start sculpting. So... You obviously could download what you're sculpting at the end and you could start, you know, charging people for it. So you could paint what you sculpted. For example, let's say I want to sculpt a red hat, okay? Let's do a quick little experiment. I'm going to go to red. I'll have to move this, don't I? There we go. There we go. And... Now, do we have this? We could start, you know, spraying this thing. Start making it a red ball. So we could also increase the size of this uh, paintbrush and everything. There you go. And we could lower it. But yeah, we'll, we'll keep it at the highest point. Just so I could paint it. There you go. So once you guys have done that, it's very simple from here. What you guys want to do is go ahead and smoothen this out. You know what I'm saying? You could smoothen it out. But anyway, so now that we've done that, what we want to do now is go ahead and, you know, kind of just make it bigger. Kind of make this thing, you know, better. You can move it around, obviously. You could do a whole bunch of things to this which we're obviously going to show you guys for example you could go ahead 
and yeah do a whole bunch of things to it you could go ahead and uh, move this rotate this however you wish so if you guys are like i want to rotate this then you can rotate it and we could smoothen it we could also click add and remove down here there's this uh section as well and there's just a whole bunch of things we could also click clear to get rid of all of the paint that we've previously put okay which is kind of cool and we could also fill which will then paint the entire thing with one color the color we selected okay which is another cool feature. So if we go ahead and click on red and push it down to this color right here, let's say we click fill, we could change the entire color and paint the entire thing, this color right here, which is cool. And now that I've shown you that, so could go through here and you can make it bigger or smaller and stretch it here as well which is kind of cool so you click on here and you can make it bigger or smaller right here and you can move it you could click here and rotate it you could click on here and do other things to it for example you could let's see you know the sky's the limit guys you could pretty much do everything i think i covered basically every single feature you guys could use you just have to be creative do what you want with this so yeah guys do what you want and i couldn't create a hat because it is my first time using this thing oh you could also put the camera another way you could get whoa that's cool dude so yeah, you could do this as well, which is kind of cool. But yeah, overall, the sky's the limit. Do how you wish. Peace.